I'm here tonight with um, Emily um, Adams. Uh, what was the music that you um, grew up with? Um, I grew up with a lot of oldies. Um, my dad had a large music collection. Um, I listened to like Buddy Holly, Hank Williams, the Everly Brothers, um, pretty like older stuff. And then I got into like Bob Dylan, Alanis Morissette, Nirvana. Um, so I kind of grew up with a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of country, a little bit of folk, and then of course rock and, and grunge too. But that was all thanks to my dad. <laughs> Um, do you prefer um, listening to music or create it? Um, that's a good question. I think it kind of depends on my mood. If I'm really in a creative mood that I, I need to like just do something or create something and make something happen, I love getting to write. Um, and if I'm sort of in a mood where I, I can't really create but I need to absorb um, I really love just getting to listen. So I'd say it kind of depends on my mood. Um, but when when creating a song, it's like no other. It's like giving birth to something. When it's finished, the the high that you get from it, it's sort of like a a rush of an accomplishment, right? Um, and I don't I don't really feel that sort of way when listening to music. Um, but I guess listening to music comes with a different kind of um, reward. <laughs> Um, how do you um, energize the audience? Do you got a certain song? or um, The way I energize them, uh, I do have some upbeat songs. I have a song, Betrayal. It's a little bit more upbeat, and the audience usually starts getting up and going to that. Um, In Silence is another one. It's a little bit more upbeat, especially when I'm playing with a band. It's a little easier to get the audience going, of course. Um, but I think really just feeling the music and feeling my song, I've, I've gotten people to really get up and go with it, even doing slower ballad songs, just, just really feeling it and being true, you know? Okay. Um, we got your um, song um, in silence. We, oh, cool. Go ahead and play it here. <laughs>
got a real high voice. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's been so much, so much working with a vocal coach. It's really paid off. <laughs> um, did you um, have a co-writer to write that song? Or? Oh, yes. It was actually the first song that I ever co-wrote with anybody. Uh, his name was Brett Taylor. In Nashville, I went down to Nashville for a couple of days and we did, um, I think it was like in two days. The first day we hashed out the music, second day we did the lyrics. Um, and I came in with the idea and I said, it's about meditation, it's about finding your peace and all this chaos. And he had me write a journal full of everything I heard and saw and felt and tasted. And we put all that color together and it, it was like really cool experience because I had never co-written with anybody and it turned out really, really cool. What's um, next for you? Next for me, um, I'm really excited because in 2023, I actually signed with a new management, uh, Grace Musicianship Group. Um, Brian's been great at booking um, festivals. I've already got a lot of festivals coming up. Uh, one is a really big one, Wally Lake Fest in Pennsylvania. Um, I've got a couple of cool things happening in, L in L.A. Um, that can be quite big possibilities. Um, and then we're working on, uh, we're, Brian's hooking me up with a team he's got in New York for studio stuff. And we're going to be putting out some singles and EP uh, music videos on those singles that we're releasing. Um, so it's really been exciting to see all this stuff kind of come to color and, and actually come to life. <laughs> what is the best gig you ever played? Well, um, I recently did a tour in Europe. I just got back from uh, the UK tour. Um, and then before that, I did uh, an Atlantic City tour. And there was a, this venue called uh, Bure. And it was an outdoor festival. It was kind of like um, celebrating, like legalizing marijuana. And so it was this huge festival where almost like if you could imagine the crowd of everybody coming because these vendors would also sell you know, marijuana because it was now legal. So that was a pretty big festival. The stage was pretty big. I mean, that was a really good turnout. Um, I also liked Wally Lake Fest. I did it uh, this uh, in 2022, actually, in Pennsylvania. And that had hundreds of people as well. So that was really cool to get to be a part of that. Okay. Um, where can um, people go and see your videos, music, and events? Oh, so all over the Internet. So I, I have a website. It's emilyadams.co. And from there has all my social media links on it that you can just go right to the social media. It's got YouTube. Um, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Um, and you can also go to uh, my YouTube channel, uh, which is Emily Adams Music. Um, there's got a bunch of videos there. But again, if you go to my website, everything is linked to the website. Also, my Instagram channel, which is emily.adams.music. Um, it has a link tree, and if you click that link tree, you can also find the website, um, how to find my CDs, the whole links to everything on social media as well. Okay. Um, when you ain't um, doing music, um, you got any kind of hobbies or anything like that? Oh, that's a fun question. So I actually love going to the shooting range. It's one of my one of my favorite hobbies. Um, I love to get to shoot. It's it's such great therapy. Um, highly recommend it to anybody. <laughs> um, and I also, uh, I do a lot of dog training. So I, I like to work with animals. I have my own dogs as well. Um, and I'm currently writing a book on dog training as well. So that's keeping me quite busy. <laughs> well, um, thanks for being on the show tonight. I really enjoyed talking to you. And having oh, thanks for having me.